What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to play this sweet list from Sarav Demir Mastermind, otherwise known as Sarah C. <clears throat> what do you think about this monstrosity? We got, we got, we got four lightning bolts, four faithless lootings, mm -hmm. not banned, by the way, four path to exile, mm -hmm. four charter course, two mm -hmm. snappy boys, uh, Vesper Lark. What is that? What is that? Oh, uh, it's a it's an evoke dude. When it leaves the battlefield, return a creature with power one or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. And then you got four three Alesha who smiles at death, which is also return a creature with power two or less to the battlefield. And you have bizarre trade mages to get things in the graveyard. But the things you want to get in the graveyard are Colonial Hydra, which has zero power, so it works mm -hmm. for both this and this, mm -hmm. and Master of Cruelties. Mm -hmm. So then you you first strike him with Master of Cruelties, and give him get him the one life. And then these dudes. Right. Well, I would do my Saffron Olive impression, but apparently that upsets people. And uh, I don't I don't really know why. Badger, do you not like the the decks you sent me? Because I actually I did like the second one you sent me, but if you don't like if you don't like them, then I'll just wait till you send me something you do like. Opinions on the commander ban list. Uh, I think Paradox Engine should have been banned a long time ago. It's stupidly broken. It's it like seems a, like a it's really like a one card combo. Basically. Yeah, it seems like a really <laughs> broken card. Um, I don't know why they unbanned uh, Painter Servant. It seems super random. But if they're gonna do that, I guess the Iona ban makes sense. Um, it does outside of Painter Service, Iona didn't really seem that bad because usually your pod's not gonna just be mono colored. But I can see I can see how it makes. For a bad time if you're playing a monocolor deck and someone just names that with Iona and you're like, okay, cool, everyone can play with me. So I get why. Yeah, so you're locking like one person out. Right. Right. And if it doesn't affect the rest of the table, like let's say if one person's playing mono green and you name mono and you name green, and the rest of the table's like, well, I'm not playing green, so uh, screw that guy. Oh well, and I guess then, he's dead. He's yeah. essentially dead. So you know. Um. So now I have to build a sideboard because Sarah's like, I don't believe in sending sideboards. <clears throat> with with my decks, so oh, it was a little rude. I basically we're not even Bristol, not even friends anymore. Um, white and black for this, huh? Do we have enough white? I think we probably do. It was an ultra strange waste of a ban. I don't understand how it's a waste of a ban. They ban Paradox Engine in a simultaneously ban of a card that has some equally weird shenanigans. Wait, what? Explain your point more, uh, Tiger Dilly. Sideboards are for losers? Unbelievable. Okay, so I'm trying to think of what, what's good for sideboards. We need some graveyard shenanigans. Sergicale. Wow. Sergicale? Yeah, it's from the Italian. You don't know, you know about the Italian? You don't know about the Italian. You you know about it? You know about that? You just put it on all the ley lines, huh? That's one ley line. Oh yeah, I'll just <laughs> I'm gonna have one of each. This is gonna be our sideboard now. Oh no. I've gone too far. I've wasted too much time doing this nonsense. Uh Stony Silence maybe? I like a good stony stony silence. Stony silencio. How about Ceremonious Rejection? I guess that's kind of similar to Stony Silence. Also, Villa, you, you get to start grad school in Ireland, right? My hair's doing a little floopy here, and I don't, <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about it. Embrace the floop. I can't. It's not... It's just too high. Anyway. Scotland! Oh, God, I feel so bad about getting this confused. That's, that would make them very angry. Right, it? like that's like that's like the typical like. What did you just say? All right, we need five more sideboard slots. Maybe like a relic or two. Do we need that much graveyard hate? I mean, bridge just got banned, so. <sighs> Stony silence is what I'm doing at four twenty six. Wow. <laughs> oh lord uh, what about like what man nature's claims or something why would I oh, you want to play nature's claim in this, in this Jeskai deck 
How about disenchant, Michael? But there's green creatures. Oh, I guess you're never. You're never casting oh, okay. this. You're gonna put it yeah, in the yeah. graveyard and get it back. Get it back. I'll put two disenchantos. Let me get one more slot. Yeah, rest in peace, Scrizz. That's why I didn't put it in the sideboard, Sarah. <laughs> that's, li that's literally why I didn't do that. Oh, wear tear is good. I do like a wear tear. See, that's just better than disenchant here, isn't it? Sure. I'll put three. Whatever. This is fine for now. This is what we're starting with. Oh, yeah. Legacy. Mo moderno. Wait, not league. We'll just, we'll just run it through some cues because we don't have to. Did that start? Did it? I can't even tell. I can... Can I... What? Did it... Did the match start? What the fudge? Okay, there we go. Wow, that was weird. Okay, well, Master of Cruelties and Logic Knot is not where we want to be, per se. Yeah, I'd probably mulligan this. Would you? Mm -hmm. Would you? Mm -hmm. Would you? Mm -hmm. Would you? Would you? Yes. Why are you like this? Where's my glasses, man? Would you? <coughs> Those are right here. In front of these napkins. Michael of Cruelties right now, am I right? Who's hungry for subs? <laughs> oh, God. You mean hungry Howie's Cheezer subs? Cheezer subs? I don't know if they're called that. I just, you know. You know. I'm going to mulligan. Oh, God. Why? Hunter does have a bone. Can you guys hear that? That's hilarious. Yeah, he's chewing on his little Nyla bone in the background. Yep. Going to five here. I will keep. All right, so we have Vesperlark. I don't think we need Alesha, and we can probably get rid of a land. So we got three lands: Snappy Boy, Vesperlark. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Uh, you, and I guess you. I like that it says done. It's like. Can I hit cancel? What happens if I hit cancel? Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. Oh, that's why it asks you if you're done. Because then you can like get a look at your hand and be like, yeah, this looks good. It's like those glasses were made for Mike B's face. I think he's actually getting eye surgery later and those are going to be his eyes. How'd you know? Thank you! Because I scheduled it for you. Wow. Wow. Well, that was really quick. Usually it takes a while for them to all pop in the thing. Badger, thank, thank you so much, buddy. You are friggin' awesome, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. <sighs> Unbelievable, man. Really appreciate you. Let's get a land. How's that sound? Thank you, like that? you. You like that, Michael? I do like that. I do like land. I do like that we're going to get Sacred Foundry. You ever had a Sacred Foundry before? Thank you. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, have you? Yeah. Give me like a card to make the Ooh boy. Thank you. That'll do. What if they counter this? It'd be hilarious. Thank you. Are they countering this? Come on. Thank you. Come on. Well, they got a red green land, so I don't think so. Oh wait, never mind. Wow. They're like, oh, remanded. Thank you. Mana leak. Sure. That was card disadvantage anyway, buddy. A crazy deck Thank plays you. mana leak. I ain't gonna mana leak my faithless leader. What's wrong with you? This is actually a pretty good move. Thank you. What'd you say? It's a pretty good blue? Pretty good move. Pretty good blue? Shut up and take my money. Whoa. One badger buck. <laughs> So many thank yous. All right, we're going to play this guy. We can just Snapcaster Faithless Looting now. Or we can just Faithless Looting. Or we can just play one of these two. Probably just play this, right? Thank what you. What does that do, though? Well, you see. Oh, Billy with five gifted subs. You guys are insane. What's wrong with you? Why are you guys like this? Why are you guys so generous? I don't understand. Thank you guys so much. You are awesome. 
Billy Badger. You guys are great. Thank you. One Badger buck from Kerwood as well. You guys are... This is like 15 thank yous in a row. Our options are thank this or this. I mean, I like the Snapcaster looting play. Do you? Mm -hmm. I'd rather have a second card to put in the graveyard. Thank though. you. And we can just cast this by itself. Uh, I guess. We don't get a creature. Shut up and take my money. We get a creature if we just cast these, though. Jazz cigarette bugs. <laughs> now it's at 420. See, that's funny. That's a solid That's solid humor. Josh, thank you, buddy. You are awesome. That legacy video is straight fire. Yes, that dude, that deck was great. It's one of these two. the legacy deck? Yeah, last night, me and Rob. What was it? Uh, we brewed up a mono white deck. Mono white, interesting. I'll show it to you after this. Which is what's the play, man? I like Snapcaster Faithless. We're not doing that. Why? Because if we draw like another Faithless City next turn, we can easily just put one of these into play. We can attack with this, attack for whatever, and then. We ain't got haste, do it. No, and next turn, we if we play this now, we attack with it. What doesn't have haste? This puts it into play, you know. When this attacks, you return a creature with two or less tapped and attacking. Oh. Okay. okay, so you're trying to give me advice when you don't even know what the cards in our hand do. Okay, I understand now. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's nearly 6 a.m. Didn't realize the time. Wait, what? <laughs> what time is it there? Because it's 424 right here. Yeah, it had Golos in it. The deck had Golos. The five-color guy? Yeah, man. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, that's not really a mono white deck, then, is it? Well, we never, you never activate it. You just use it as a way to search up Dark Depths. Oh, okay. Or Thespian yeah, Stage. Because it lets you get any land, right? Yeah. You're playing four Black Lotus? Uh, we didn't put four in this list. Just because you don't want to get flooded. You don't want to get Lotus flooded, you know? It's kind of awkward. Wow, that was rude. I guess once you see an Alesha on the board, you're like, some kind of shenanigans are happening here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. I'm tempted to have like one black land in the deck just so we can actually cast Master of Cruelties. Yeah, I don't think it would really hurt your mana base that much. Well, let me tell you about Master of Puppets, Michael. It's pulling your strings. How does that combo Ooh. with Thespian Stage work? Uh, Thespian Stage, you make it a copy of a land. Right. So you make it a copy of Dark Depths. Mm -hmm. And Dark Depths says uh, when it has no ice counters on it, sacrifice it. So it copies it, but it doesn't get the counters? Right, because you get the counters when it enters the battlefield. It enters the battlefield with 10 ice counters on it. Thespian Stage is already in play, so it's not going so to just add counters to it. Right. Oh, okay. I know. So then you just keep the Thespian Stage and sack the other one, and then it, yeah, I guess you sack them both, but... Well, yeah, you sack the you keep the death, the Thespian Stage one because they're legendary, but then you just sacrifice it afterwards because it becomes Merit Lage. Okay. It's five fifty four a.m. Wait, hold on. It's five fifty four. Wait, you're you're eleven and a half hours. There are half hour time zones. Is that common knowledge? Is that did you know that? I didn't know that. India is plus five thirty. Wow, that's interesting. I had no idea. Oh, that's oh wow, that's just like that's blowing my mind right now. Time zones in general are confusing enough to me. I had no idea there were half hour time zones. They're like, you know what? This area is not that big. It's just it's just big enough for a half an hour. Uh, okay. I guess we just play this again. And hope they don't have an answer. Hope they don't go lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. It's not, they're going to snap lightning bolt this, you ready? That's going to feel bad. Oh, boy. Wow.
Is it bad? You asked if there were half hour time zones to which I was just like, uh, sure, that seems right. No, that seems fine. You just gotta err on the, you, hey, you gotta err on the side of either there is or there isn't, right? You gotta pick one, so. Is you is, or is you ain't. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be super obnoxious to coordinate, because I would just not be used to that. I would just be like, wait, uh, uh, we have eight removal spells. We haven't seen one yet. Well, there we go. I guess we found one. Let's just cast this guy. I dare you to block it. Are you going to counter it? Are you going to mana leak this? That'd be so... That would be like the rudest thing you could possibly do. Here comes Snapcaster mana leak. You ready? <laughs> I mean, you put seven power on the board. I don't even know why you can... Why you'd... <laughs> and now our bullet can't be used. We're still dead. No, we can kill one of the snappy boys. Is it going to the Terramogoyf plus a snap? Well, it's still, that's five, not seven. Oh. The boy was bigger. It will be if we put this lightning bolt in the graveyard. Well, I thought there was an instant in the graveyard. Well, they got rid of it when they when they mana leaked. Oh. PC Vogel, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I now have an eight-day-old son, and today's the first time I have time to check the stream. Let's celebrate. Congrats on your eight-day-old son, my dude. Oh, good. You just had another lightning bolt anyway. So they had they had, they had the quads? No, three. They had three of a kind. Not four well, they didn't. They didn't. They only drew one. They only drew two, but they played it three times. So. Man, Snapcarps made just hell of a magic card. It's a real good one. It's a real, it's a real good card. Uh, so what we, we literally saw four cards from them. We saw Mana Leak, Snapcaster, Tarmogoyf, Lightning Bolt. Those are the only four cards we saw in that entire fucking matchup. Yep. That's that's something, man. That's all you need, I guess. All you need is four. Four. All you need is four cards in that single matchup. So, Chad, I... Uh, Here we go. I finished Evangelion last night. And boy, does that show get weird at the end. Oh, my. So you know how Metal Gear Solid 2 is complicated? Oh yeah. It gets, oh yeah. It gets like almost that level complicated. It doesn't sound enjoyable. It goes really heavy into like uh, ego and uh, like like the mind, like just about like psychology and stuff. And it gets real confusing. Is that the one with the traumatized boy in the scary robot suit? Yes. That is exactly what... <laughs> that's basically the... Yikes. The whole show. That's a yikes for me, dog. At first, it's like, oh, cool, there's, like, robots fighting these, like, crazy monster things, but then it, like, just... It really goes off the deep end. I feel like you go off the deep end, too, though, so... Well, you know. I'm gonna pick up a little Karaki. Don't talk to me about Karaki. Don't talk to me about my Karaki. Oh, crack is only 70 bones in the Legends? Maybe I'll just get the Legends one. Look at that beauty. Hmm. If this hand had a Faithless Looting, I think I'd be keeping it. Oh, I don't like I don't like Lighthouse in here. Maybe it's fine because you're discarding. I just don't feel like you have time to use it though. Um Yeah, I'll keep this. That lighthouse seems a little suspect. Yeah, just because our color requirements are so high. All you need is Mike B. Mike B's all you need. There's nothing Mike B can say that can't be sung. <laughs> nothing Mike B can do when he learns how to be Mike B. Is Michael B. His name is Michael B. All right, so we have to get a white. We're probably going to get a second blue as well because we already have a second red. So, Hollowed Fountain it is. Did you know Master of Cruelties is pulling your strings? Hmm. Did you know that? No. Uh, you know that song? It's uh, it's it's by a band called Metal Licka. I think it's called. 
Metal liquor? Yeah. Hmm. So, like, that show for, like, the first, I don't know, 20 episodes is, like, just about fighting these crazy alien things. And there's, like, robot suits. And there's, like, little hints of, like, weird stuff, but, it, like, not that much. And then, like, the last six episodes, it's just, like... It just goes off the deep end. Mm. <laughs> you're like, and you're like, you're like, what? Well... It's, just, it's no longer grounded in reality. Like, you don't know if the show it's in the show or it's in the kid's head. Like, it's just... It's just a mess, and if you think that anime is good, I'm sorry, but I disagree. I thought it was a, I I I wish I hadn't saw it. It was, man, it's confusing and weird, and I don't know. I guess now I can be an official anime nerd because I've seen it now. Because like it's like almost like a ritual. Like you have to. See but that do you show. lose your anime, your official anime nerd cred if you didn't like it? I don't think that's true. I think there's plenty of people that don't like it. Okay. What if they made a Metal Gear Solid anime? Well, obviously I'd watch that. <laughs> We can logic not for two here, which is actually pretty good. Like, have you tried Code Geese? No. I typically stray away from uh, shows with, like, mechs because I kind of think it's boring. But... I think mechs are boring. And yeah. I also think the, the anime shows with, like, really <laughs> he heavy psychological themes, they just don't... I just don't get them. Because I don't think the storytelling in anime... Like, I think it gets really confusing really fast. Because I'm always like, well, is this real? Is this not real? Like, what's even happening? Like, it just confuses me. Does that make sense? Then you would not like Evangelion. <laughs> like, even Akira. Like, Akira had very psychological issues. And I'm like, a lot of the psychological... Yeah, Akira did it so much better. Right, but the thing is, like... Because you can kind of disregard them a little bit. But, like... Yeah, Akira is definitely a movie you have to watch, like, the twice. An because the animation is what's telling the story a lot of times in anime. And, like, it sometimes it just gets really confusing. Because I can't tell what's real and what's, like, in someone's head and, like, what's just, like, what's a hallucination. Like, it's, there's a lot of stuff that's, like, really not, yeah, we'll just for one. Pay one. Do it. Do it now. Yeah, it does feel like an anime rite of passage. Like, you have to see it. Especially now that it's on Netflix, it's, like, easy to view, so. Oh, this guy's, this guy's saucy. So spicy. Oh, Death Note is great. Death Note is really, really good. That is like, I mean, except for like the last season, but let's get don't talk Master about that. and see. Because now we have Alesha, but we don't have two white, so we have to keep these. I think it's probably one of the removal spells. Probably path. <laughs> Yeah, Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra would actually be a really great ending credit scene. we got to discard three cards. Wow, that would make so a lot of sense, actually. Did you say Flank Sinatra? Yeah, Flank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're definitely getting rid of land here, then. Flank Stake Sinatra. Golis is really good. He lets you get any land. Right, that's really crazy. It's literally one more mana than Solemn Simulacrum, but he's a 3-5. Wow, Trinosphere is 60. Jesus. Yeah, man. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, that's special. Well, we got to play one game of Magic, I guess. Blood Moon's a real shit card, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yeah, I wish it didn't exist. I do too. I just don't think it's fun. Like, not even banned. just didn't exist. It doesn't make for fun gameplay. Sorry. I mean, maybe we just went off 3-4 because there are red green blue deck that can't deal with four toughness but I had a rumor that they might be making more episodes of Evangelion like a new series based on it I don't know how true that is is cereal soup it's a, it's a tough question I'm like, they're like, here's a blood moon. Just want to let you know, big fan forever. Thanks for what you do. And I'm like, thanks, even though you just played a blood moon. Mm. Good evening, Frank and pretty guest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We have a good time. Is this a Snapcaster and Dissier Visions? No. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. That thing is legit.
Where's my one planes? That's what we want here. God, why can't she activate with the reds? Oh, by the way, the movie and of Evangelion, which like helps uh, like actually finish the show, like the movie, it's like an hour and a half. Uh, it starts with a scene with the main character, he jerks off and it's really weird. And I'm just like, wait, why? Why is this in here? Why did they do that? Oh boy. That's just the human experience, man. I have three mountains. I'm like, wait, what just happened? Why did they show that? Oh my God. Do we even have, yeah, we have one of each, I guess. All right. We can probably take out the mountain. Like usually you have a mountain or you usually have basic lands in your deck to avoid blood moon. But since all your lands are going to be mountains anyway, usually you don't necessarily need a basic mountain. Because robots. I could attack here. Mm. If they have a counterspell, it's a real bad. I guess it's average bad. I also think we should include a black land so we can play that guy. We should fix a mana base to include one black land and uh, put in a couple more basics. I'll put your basics in here. Got him. Yeah, like I said, we could bolt this guy, but if they have a counterspell for the bolt, then they're two for wanting us. And even if we have another Alesha, like, it's just not really worth it. <clears throat> they also only have one red, so Bizarre Trade Mage has to be dealt with eventually. Du, 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 du. All you need is Michael B. Fap him, sock him robots. Yeah, that's that's normal. Do you ever look at Mutual and think to yourself, that's a spicy meatball? Actually, I do not do that. Um, V click, V click. Snappy boy. I didn't even know Factor Fiction was legal. Uh, it was printed in Modern Horizons. Oh, okay. I guess oh, wow, we'll just give you double V click. Time. Because they're legendary. Or you can have two lands that are just mountains and a snapcaster. These are your choices. Here's how to watch Evangelion. Recall your high school days and then look at a picture of a giant mech with a picture of a red-headed girl. Done. Is that right? That kind of sums it up a little bit. <laughs> You're like, yep, that checks out. Except for all the alien weird shit. Like, you get super, like, religiously and psych psychological and, like... There's scenes where you have no idea, like, if this is reality. That's what I just said. And when it ends, it's I just told like, you that. It's him and him and a girl on a beach, and it's just like, wait, Is this real is or is this, this fantasy? Or? Yeah, I know. Did, that's what happened during Akira. There was parts during Akira I'm just like, is this real? Is this a, is he just hallucinating? I don't yeah, know what's it's happening. Not, it's, not as a, it's, not as as, it's not as good as Akira, though. Like, right. But my point is that it's still there. Like, it's just, that's for some reason, that's like a thing that happens in, like, animes. Yeah, a lot of animes have bad endings. Like, even Death Note is, I love Death Note, but, like... I don't want to spoil it because I don't think Frank will ever watch it. But if he ever does, I don't want to spoil a really big part of it. So I won't. But after a certain character dies, you know, the one if you've seen it, the show really. Dang it, someone dies. The show really, 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 really gets downhill. They're going to go Snappy Boy Faithless Looting? Or uh, Factor Fiction, rather? Factor Fiction seems great also. But then they just give us, they would just give us the cards that we can't cast. Well, I guess we're definitely bringing wear tear now, but then we also have to. When was that again? What's your favorite animes? Uh, favorite mean? animes probably Cowboy Bebop. Okay, well, Cryptic Command and Force are gonna go in separate piles. I also do really enjoy Death Note. I think Death Note is great. Uh, as far as like typical fighting animes, I think Yu Yu Hakusho is really really good. Again, also has a terrible ending, but you know that's animes, so whatever. Wow, this is real bad, actually. Jesus. I never heard of I never heard of Shirokuma Cafe. I so if they take is. this, these go into the graveyard, and they can snap and cryptic. Yeah. I think this is actually the best. Because then you don't get force. You only get one. You only get one of these two, which is really what I. I don't want to put either of these with the Snapcaster. Doesn't make sense for the stream right now, but this is the meal I was working on last night. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> <laughs> I should burgle some blood. <laughs> Did you see the mono black commanders the meme? The mono black commander meme? Yeah, like the tier list for mono black commanders. No. The highest tier is oh, as uh, Yargle, and it says I'm here to bargle, and I thought it was pretty funny. And he's the top. He's like the uh, the top top of the of the of the of the commanders. Or the yeah. 
the, the, the S tier? Yeah, right. Nice. Because you came to Bargle. Well, he could Bargle. Fooly Cooly, no. Fooly Cooly is just a weird, like, funny anime. It doesn't. I mean, it's psychological, but, like, in a way that you can kind of understand. It's not. I don't mind it being psychological. I just feel like anime, when it is psychological, it blurs the line of what's real and what's not. And I think it's just a storytelling issue. I don't think it's wrong. It's just me personally, the way they tell the story, it's confusing to me because I don't necessarily understand what's real and what isn't. So I'm like, did this happen? Is this is he going crazy? I don't know what's going on. Do you mean when SpongeBob dies after his after his infinity spatula is stolen by Dio Brando? Wow, that's that's a lot of anime and cartoon mashups you got there. Plus Marvel Universe, I guess. Uh, if the last airbender counts, the last airbender is is incredibly fantastic and it might be number one. It's really good. Ice Fang Hodel. But I usually don't count it in anime because it's Snakey Boys. It's Western yeah. animated. Did you say Western? Uh, Cowboy Bebop is not about robot cowboys. It has nothing to do with robots, really. It just has the best theme song ever. Yeah, Cowboy Bebop is probably one of my favorite animes. Yeah, you haven't seen it yet, you idiot. Man, how are you going to see Vash and not see Cowboy Bebop? I didn't watch. I don't think I've watched all of Trigun. Hmm. Yep. Trigun gets a little complicated at the end, too. Yeah, and obviously. I mean, I, I say obviously in the sense of like, well, of course it does, because it's... Yeah, I'm just going to concede here. But it's like, just about a cool... We have five mountains. tootin' cowboy shooting guy. That's all that matters. That's true. I actually used to work at Hot Topic, and I, I actually got interested in Trigun because they had a bunch of Trigun products. And I was like, wow, this character design looks amazing. Like, this... Like, as a character, Vash looks super cool. Yeah, he's really well designed. But then you watch the show... And I, th that's what happened. Like, I was introduced to the character, like, the look of the character, and then I watched the show afterwards, and I was like, oh, he's just really derpy? Yeah, but he does that on purpose. Does I he? I don't know why. Does he? Okay, get this mountain out of here. But when he gets serious, he's he's the world's best badass. Okay, we want more red... How, how many red sources do you have? One, two... Never... S six. I've seen, like, one episode of Steins Gate. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist so Brotherhood 13. is very, very good. I do like that a lot. I actually used to work at Hot Topic. Now I just hang out there all the time. <laughs> I I used to work at Hot Topic and I do not hang out there at all. Oh, Alistar is pretty good. Very short. Who? Oh, I'll show you the um what? Wow. Well, there's my desktop. Thanks to uh... Thanks, Magic Online. Um, I'll show you that legacy deck. Um, I think it went by Ancient Tomb. Four Mox Diamond. Those were also going to be pricey. The priciest cards in the deck are City of Traders and Mox Diamond. No surprise there. Then you got Ancient Tombs and City of Traders. So a bunch of ways to play that turn one turn of sphere. You got Karn the Great Creator and Karn Scion. You got one moat to search for with Enlightened Tutors. And the combo is Solemnity and either Phyrexian Unlife or Solemnity in Dark Depths or Dark Depths, Depths Desbian Stage mm -hmm. and then Golos goes and gets you know one of the pieces like if you have Solemnity like we said if you Golos you can just put Dark Depths into play and just make a 20-20 so it's basically it's basically like a Bloodbraid Elf that makes a 20-20 when it comes into play um, and then we just have one Elspeth and one Ugin which are super cool additions for Legacy as like more win cons and we have one Chalice which we didn't like at first we they the goalie wanted four chalices in the deck, but we were like, I like being able to play Enlightened Tutor and Swords better because they're just very very good, obviously. Right. Mm -hmm. And usually you're gonna play Chalice on one, so you wouldn't be able to play these. Um, so now we think it's it's fine to just play one Chalice so you can Enlighten Tutor for it, and then because it's gonna shut down a lot of decks. But basically, you just want to Golos find your land, and even if you find like a Caracas or a Thespian Stage or even just a Soul Ring land, like you're still in great shape because then you can cast these guys or yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, the deck was super sweet. Like, it was hard to deal with all these things. So, anyway. Now we're playing... Uh, Spurlark. What, why does it say... Oh, 59 cards. Because I took a card. I still need to add another land. Hmm.
You don't go back down to the old Hot Topic stomping grounds anymore? You could be, I don't even know if Hot Topic was still... No, actually, when I walk by a Hot Topic now... I don't think they exist. Do they still exist? No, they're still in malls. I saw one. Yeah, there's one in, like, West Shore and, like... Hmm. Um, yeah, Trinisphere was insane. Trinisphere is an insane magic card in Legacy. Um, do they just have meme shirts now? I think they've always had meme shirts, though. I think Hot Topic was, like, a meme... Like, a purveyor of memes before memes were... Yeah, that's fair. Like, a thing. Can you still get Family Guy shirts? Probably. <laughs> Trinisphere is symmetrical, though, so it's fair. Um, I'm trying to... like. I feel like this deck needs card advantage, not just card filtering. I'm almost tempted to play one Godless Shrine, because... It lets you activate Alesha. Maybe not. I don't like it. Yeah, but then we can play Master Cruelties. For yeah. Cool. Like, the, the thing you just want to avoid is having Master Cruelty stuck in your hand. Obviously, you're going to get H Colleen and Hydra stuck in your hand sometimes, but you don't want to have two different cards stuck in your hand, I don't think, so. Yeah. But we're also on 21 lands, so I think the odds of us, like, actually... Um, I don't. I, I think I think there's better cards than Thought Scour. I'd rather play like Serum Visions. Like your odds of hitting one of these two with a Thought Scour is pretty low. Because it's only mill two, right? Yeah. Try that Reef card. Uh. uh I like Thought Scour. <laughs> like why? Like you're just as likely to hit Vesper Lark or Alesha than you are Colleen Hydra, Master of Cruelties when you have these in your hand. Like I don't I don't I don't think Thought Scar is really doing what we want to do. Walladil, what's going on, my dude? Plague Engineers are place Logic Knox with like uh Yeah, Logic Knox is cool, but the double blue is hard and I also don't feel like it's doing like what the deck wants to do. Though we could add two of the um but it doesn't power up Alesha because you're not likely to... It doesn't mean you hit the a creature. What's the card like, there's similar no... to Faith Slitting for two mana? It's like draw two, discard one. You mean Charter Course, which we have for it? No, no, no. Because um, this is draw two, the discard you. one. Oh, Badger with five more gifts no, and subs. A, totally it's a red normal. card. You discard first. Cathartic oh, Reunion Torment or Oh, Tormented Voice. Thank you. Cathartic Reunion is, is the one that makes you draw, like, discard seven cards. Uh, you discard two cards and draw three. Tormenting Voices, thank discard you. one, draw two. Badger, thank you so much, dude. You are... <laughs> Maybe a couple of Tormenting oh, Voices. Pretty ridiculous. Thank you. I could see Tormenting Voices. Bloodbraid Elf, we're not playing green spells, guys. There's no green mana in the deck. Thank you. This is not a green card. Like, this is just a card we're discarding. There's thank no green in the deck. I've now gifted over 200... Is that true? Where does it say that? 206 subs? Oh my god, dude. Thank you. Oh my god. Jesus. That's like a thousand dollars. Jesus. That's ridiculous. Badger. Thank you. You are awesome, man. Thank you so much, dude. That's unreasonable. Man. Thank you. <sighs> um going Naya. Interesting. Thank you. What? What is even happening? Why are you guys doing this? Josh. Oh, Josh 225 gifted subs. Thank also you. totally reasonable. Wow. Okay, cool. I still have the lead. <laughs> Let me donate five more just to check to see Thank if I have the lead. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Thank I'm not sure Taunus would be the lead in gifted subs. Maybe he probably would, actually. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, Thank Lord. You. So if we go Naya, we lose Bizarre Trade Mage, and we lose Charter Course and Snapcaster. The Snapcaster I don't think is super relevant, but, like, Thank you. we would need to replace it with cards that discard. Because we're losing eight very strong discard outlets here. Faithful Reunion? What does that do? Oh, is that Cathartic Reunion and Faithless Looting? I see what you're doing here. You're not, that's not, that's not a real thing, right? Don't make me... Unless you were just making a joke. I mean, theoretically, we could just play Tormenting Voice instead of Charter Course. Why not both? 
Uh, because then we put no. We can instead of playing blue, like we can easily cut the blue, and play like either cathartic, cathartic or tormenting voice. And then it's still, but then we can actually cast the Colonian Hydra. That's yeah. interesting. What do you think? I like the bizarre guy though. He is bizarre, but then you go. We think of Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, but yeah, I guess Bloodbraid Elf is value. Bloodbraid Elf is so good though. So we take Charted Course out. Discard two cards, draw three cards. Is it Cathartic Reunion or is it Tormenting Voice? That's the question. I like Tormenting Voice better. I don't like having to discard two cards. <laughs> Could play Tarmogoyf too. That's just a good dude. All right. We're going to try the Naya version. What's the best Tormenting Voices art? This one? This one? This one? It's probably this one. Oh, I have, this one I have two of. Okay. Oh! Ma, oh! Did you know Master of Cruelties is pulling your strings? You know, I was going to make that joke, but I decided not to. Didn't I already say that once, though? Probably. I made the whole metal Metallica joke. It was not good. It was just a bad Metallica joke. You don't want to play one black line? Black line? I'm black not done line. yet. Oh, okay. 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 My name's Michael. Okay. I hate you so much. I hate you because my name is Michael. Okay. <laughs> so you still have five card slots? Yes. Excellent. Well, see, we were, we had Charter Course and Bizarre Guy. Now we only have four Tormenting Voices, so maybe we do play Cathartic Reunion. But we have Bloodbird Elf to hit those two. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but I only have eight discard spells, though. We can cast this guy now. Why would Cascadian and Storming Voice be bad? I mean, you just want to hit a Torment. You just want to cast it, right? Excuse me? You have been excused. Buddy. I will shoot you in the face. I'd rather you didn't. I don't care what you want. You're not my dad. You'll never be my dad again. Once the paperwork goes through. <laughs> Alright, we're going to replace all the green things with their, or the, all the blue things with their green counterparts. So Flood Strand would be Windswept Heath. Temple Garden instead of uh, Hollowed Fountain. Arid Mesa would be what? Red green? So, what did. Wait, why do we replace Arid Mesa? I don't know. I guess we wouldn't. <laughs> good Steam, good call. Steam Vent. Steam Vent. Uh, Scalding Tarn. Yeah. So, all the blue becomes green. Sea Chrome Coast would be. What is it? What's that stupid land? There's two more Steam Vents, so you might want to put in two more. What if those? No, those don't become. You don't, you're not, we're, not replacing, we're not replacing Shock Lands with Fetch Lands, dude. Oh. I thought for some reason those look like scalding tarns. And I, well, they look like scalding tarns to me. <laughs> <laughs> you can just feel them hate the hatred. Yes, let it flow through you. Okay, so I think that's it, right? I still think we play one black one. I mean, we have fifty-five cards, so we could just play one godless shrine or whatever. One godless shrine. Or, what er, most fetch lands all fetch. This is the you. most fetch land colors we have. For best, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Why not one blood crypt? Why why not? I don't know. Yeah, blood crypt's probably correct. Blood crypt's probably correct. Blood CR comes up with all these things. I think blood cry was like the uh, yep, that was the unique. All right, so we get four slots here. Enter Sandy Man. I'm your Sandy Man, your Sandy Man. Burp, burp, burp. Burp, burp, burp. Is there any other card that we can hit that 
that immediately puts one of these guys into play. Because now we can actually cast both of these with the one blood crypt, so. Ilharg, that's interesting. That's interesting. What's an Ilharg? That's the raised boar idiot. Got him. Oh, the the creature that puts in creatures? Yeah. I don't think I have any on Magic Online. All my standard stuff is... It's really weird to have all my standard stuff on Arena and all my other stuff on Magic Online. Uh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this fat pig. Mm, the problem is, know. like, with 21 lands, our odds... We have no Birds of Paradise or anything, so our odds of getting to, uh... To, to five mana is not ideal. Like, we're... we're this is a four mana deck. These are not cards that are being cast, so... Yeah, we could play four birds. I don't... Eh. I don't, don't love like it because it opens you up to like lightning bolts and things. Like whereas right now you don't really care about lightning bolts. If this guy dies, it's fine because you're gonna get back a thing. What if like what if like God's willing or something? I believe in the baby revel arcs. Um, but I gotta go do my quota of adulting for the day. Thanks for the stream, Tiger Dilly. Have a good afternoon. Thanks for the stream, guys. I guess maybe. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy your adulting. See you later. Well, see you later. So we have four slots. Is there anything, like, super good? What about new cards? Are there any good new cards? What about Tarmogoyf? Just play Tarmogoyf. No, you can hit Unearth now, Josh, which is pretty good. What about Claim to Fame? What does that do? Is that two or less? Okay, that's not going to do it. Unearth, Unearth is also good. Um, I think it's just Tarmogoyf, right? Or Renin 6. I can see, like, a, a split of, like, Renin 6 and something else. Ren and Six also gives us cards to discard. I don't have any Ren and Sixes. I have to borrow them. It's very good, though. I've learned today I'm old and can't reliably type on virtual keyboards that actually sound like a crazy person because of typos. I don't know if that's an old thing. That's just a finger thing, I think. I'm sorry, Ren and Six is 95 tickets? What? Is that real? <laughs> is that... Is that serious? Jeez. Wow. 88 tickets for the non-foil? Yeah, that's not... That's insane. <sighs> How much is it in paper? Uh, in paper, I don't know if it's as much. Well, they're out of stock. I have no idea. Wow, that's insane. About 60 bucks, 55, 50, 50 to 40 to 50 bucks. It's still pretty up there. That's insane. Holy Jesus, God. $100 on Magic Online. Wow. Yeah, that's rare. That is rare. So we need four cards, and then we can play this deck, and that's what I want to do. Wild, well, Wild and the Cattle. Doesn't really fit the theme. It was just a joke. God. Uh, that's a Mythic Moochel. It's a wow. Wow, multiple people made that joke. Wow, did what? I say it was a rare? What? Did I say it was a rare? You're like, yeah, that's a rare. And I was like, everyone was oh, like... Oh, okay, I got you. Let's just try Tarmogoyf for now. Oh, because Tarmogoyf can also get back... Alesha can also get back Tarmogoyf, so it's just another... No, yeah, right, yeah, because it's star. Yeah, that's actually sick. Wait, no, it would depend on what it is. Never mind. Would it? Yes, because it's not star. Star star is always represented in all zones. Uh, if it was a zero zero, and then it got plus X plus X, like Colonial Hydra, then that's different, but. Dreadhorde Arcanist? No, because then we have to change the whole mana base. Let's just try this for now and see how this goes. It's no longer just Skylark, so. Oh, we're playing against Dante Inferno. Dante Alighieri. You know, you know Dante Alighieri? Is that like... No. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be like, is that a friend of Gary's? Do we cut this? Do we ship this? We have to ship this, right? Yes. You definitely ship that. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, keep. I guess. 
I think we want more one more land in the deck. We already added one land. No, we didn't. Well, we no, we, it was twenty one lands. Is Fauna Shaman too slow? Yeah, probably. It also dies on the spot. Uh, get rid of this guy and one lightning bolt. Now this is just kind of like a pretty average Grix, uh, pretty average nigh hand. Yeah, we've mauled to five in two out of three games so far, which is pretty rough. So with the London Mulligan, when you, do you put those cards in the bottom of your deck? Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do about the 01 Tarmogoyf, buddy? The answer is nothing. Well, do we just bolt their face? I guess we don't. Nope. Still gets in there for one. Joke's on you, buddy. Well, that's pretty good. Faithless looting is out of the question now. I can't believe that Ren and Six costs $100 on Magic Online. That's insane. Hey, look, they're going to go get a Tron land, I bet. All right, so we're bringing in um, Wear Tears and Stony Silences. They did not get a Tron land, and we drew a Faithless Looting. So we're just going to cast it. Yep. So tired. Badger, why don't you sleep, buddy? Running six is only 57 in paper. Yeah, that's actually uh, reasonable, I guess, all things considered. Well, they have Tron, I think, right? No, this is two power plants oh. in the tower. They did different arts, so it's confusing. I don't know if I can actually... Uh, I don't know if I can actually... I don't think you can cast this from the graveyard, right? Because this convert mana no cost is still one, so... I guess we're just passing here. Eating a sandwich. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's going to happen. Any second now. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, we're getting there. Eventually, we're just going to cast this Colonial Hydra, I bet, so. You mean like right now? It costs five. Oh, I thought it cost four. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Definitely will try and sleep soon, but whether or not I stay asleep, that's a different story. All right, well. Wait, do you have a fetch line on board? Yes. Why didn't you crack it to get an extra point of damage? Because I didn't realize there were no lands in the graveyard. That is the high quality production I sub for right there. <laughs> that's it right there you're welcome by the way uh are you gonna crack this well oh post combat crack it all right sure interesting solid it's a bold strategy cotton i guess in case i played another one or so they couldn't play another one i guess oh still nothing this is great uh red runner you just got a stomping ground no. Hmm, that's a threat. <coughs> Is that a threat? See what I did there? Say it's a 5 6 in the graveyard. Mm. That dude's never getting targeted. I mean, you could target it. Oh, if we could draw a tormenting voice. Oof. Oof. Are we going to just win this game? This is unbelievable. Whoa! <laughs> Yes! 
Did you see how excited I'm I got there? That was unreasonably excited, my dudes. All right, so we need a black and a white, right? Okay, black and white. I will pay for this ability. Give me them counters. Wait, how does this work? Whenever it attacks, it double the number of counters. Oh, on on each creature you control. Oh, because it doesn't trigger because it's not like it's not attacking at that moment. Bears <laughs> like this, and Mike was like this. <laughs> oh Lord. Are we are we playing against Mono Blue Tron? Uh, it was never announced as an attacker, right? Like. If like so, this is how I equate that. I don't know if, if people people actually don't understand this, but the easiest way I think of it is like, if something said, when you walk through the doorway, I'll give you ten dollars, right? And this is the equivalent of just being inside of the house. You're not walking through the door. At no point do you actually make the the physical transition from walking into the doorway, walking through the doorway rather. It's like if somehow you teleported into the house, you didn't you didn't make that step of walking of the of the physical act of walking through the doorway, which is the which is that is the the pivotal moment, if that makes sense. So paths can come out, and probably like two lightning bolts to bring in wear tears and stony boys. So the Hydra is the Kool-Aid man, basically, yeah. I live in a tent. <laughs> I'm in danger. Hard to magic without lands. Dude, you had lands. I mean, like, don't be like, you have five lands. And you had a blast zone, so you had literally four lands at, at most of the game. Probably like need a green man as my my. I don't think he's playing blue green Tron. Like we basically have the same amount of lands that entire game. I had four lands, you had four lands. You had three Tron lands and a blasting zone. Don't be like it's hard to win if you don't have lands. Like you had lands, you just didn't have Tron. That's a big difference. Also, I feel no pity for a Tron player. What did you say? He said, I think an island might have been more helpful. My whole hand was blue. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. That is fair. See, that's fair. Next time, right whoops. <laughs> oh, man. We have a good time. We have a good time. Michael B. I'm telling you, 22 lands is where you want to be here. Mulliganos. Yes, yeah, I'll keep this. Keep it. Um, so we have an Alesha and a Vesper Lock. We only need one of them. Mm -hmm. Which one do we get rid of, though? Probably the Alesha. But but why, Michael? We don't have a white source. Right. And they don't. They're probably not going to have a way to deal with this. I'm going to get rid of the Vesper Lock. I'm going. I'm going to disagree with you. I'm going to veto. You're very well thought out. Whatever, you old bird seed eater. Did you just call me a bird seed eater? Yeah. Look at your bird seed. Wow. Don't show off my bird seed. Bird seed. That's rude. That's rude. Even though it says ice cream sundae mix. Your mother has an ice cream sundae mix. Does she? Yeah. Weird.
I also said I want to say I'm a fan of your brews. It's nice to see people playing cool builds. That's what I'm trying to do. Play a cool build. Right, Sarah? Good times. Good times. You are playing Tron. I do not feel bad for you. What was I... Oh, I was going to go to... Okie dokie. I was going to go to FedEx to get my little shippy ship shipperoo on. Really? Is that how you're going to be? <laughs> You want to get your ship, ship, ship -a on, huh? Yeah, man. Ship, 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 ship a -roo. Ship, ship, ship -a -dip -dip -a -doo. What's wrong? You don't, you don't like that? Sometimes I feel like the reason your mother gave you up was <laughs> she didn't. because of this. She definitely didn't. Was it this because the state took you? <laughs> oh, my God. It was, no. a, it was involuntary? It was my mom for, you know, seven She years. was my mom for all the years. My so mommy was my mommy for so long. Ago. Oh boy! Are you getting food after this? After this match? No, I meant like you know later. Yeah, we'll go get some tacos. Oh, you want to get the all you can eat? No, I just want to go to Taco Bus. We're not gonna make all you can eat. It's like five o'clock, man. Guess it's burrito time, boys. Yeah, you're just gonna get the Jeff. I might um, not save money. I might get a regular burrito this time. Dang it. I might get a regular burrito to save money. I got a bull on money that I need to put in my wallet. Like me now on tacos? I want burritos if we're going to Taco Bus. I, I want, know it's called Taco Bus, but the I want burritos. burritos. Really good. Did you call my name? I was like, okay, I did. What is the Jeff? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually called El Jefe, but you know. Yeah, we told this story before. We go to this place called Taco Bus, and they have a burrito called the El Jefe, which is a two-pound burrito. And as most of you know, El Jefe, or maybe maybe some of you don't know, I don't know. El Jefe in uh, in Spanish means the boss. Um, uh, so it's, the burrito is called the boss. But Mike said it's really weird that this burrito is named after a guy named Jeff. And <laughs> it's, it's funny because I'm like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Oh, now they got the... Now they got it. Well, that's really sad, isn't it? So what we can do... That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted... I wanted to play this first. I really hate that. That is really frustrating. Yikes. <sighs> it's really annoying. Yeah, I'm not even gonna. I don't even want to shame wear tear now. Whatever, I just did it to get. That's so stupid. Wow, that's so dumb. I really just want a blood braid elf soon. Okay, so I actually, I don't know if you guys know, I have a copy of Fantastic Four number five that I actually picked up from Magic Magic Illuminary Patrick Sullivan. Oh, that's rude. Um, and when I got it, it was a 4.0. And so I actually resubmitted it to CGC in the past like three weeks of the month, past, past, past three weeks probably. And um, I had it pressed because pressing is like basically a process where it like smooths out the comic it gets rid of like minor creases um it gets rid of some of the dirt and stains that, that could be on it and um it just basically does a, a little it's a little bit of it's it's like some comic upkeep right 
and uh, I just they just finished regrading it after the pressing, and it's now at four four point five, which is pretty sweet. So half a grade half a grade increase from from a pressing is pretty nice. If it wasn't for that pesky extra staple. <laughs> extra yeah there's a comment that says extra staple added after manufacturing uh get rid of master royalties so that's pretty sweet super excited about that i was really hoping that i didn't get it pressed and regraded for nothing um because it's an expensive process, but going up a uh, half a grade is pretty sweet. Those do not seem correct at all. Too low. Yeah. So we got a good deal, I guess. Uh, considering the seller's feedback is 17. Interesting. Oh, it's restored. That's why. It's slight amateur restoration. That's why. Oh, yeah. That's... All right, let's try this guy. Are they gonna? What is this? What's happening right now? I imagine them using a panini press to make your comic into a tasty sandwich. Hmm. I mean, that seems accurate. Oh, see, that's that's the kind of hits we're looking for here. It's two of my favorite YouTubers. No, I'm 20 drafts today. What do you think about the new set? Uh, I think the new set is good. I haven't been enjoying the draft format as much as someone like Ben Stark, let's say. I actually work in sandwich restoration. Wow. I wonder if it says restored in this listing. Oh, wow. And can... Yep. Wow, it does not say. The thing is tricky about these is that it's really like hidden up in the upper right corner. Upper left corner, it doesn't look like... So there were two copies of Fantastic Four 4.5 that went uh, for 2500 on eBay recently, but they're also both restored. Which I assume would... Which lowers the grade. The yeah. Alright, so we just have this guy. Wait. Oh, they just lightning bolted this? Interesting. We have creatures and instants in graveyards. And that's pretty much all we have here, but I think it's probably better to play this. Hope we hit a red source. Eh, lightning bolt's not bad when they're at... Oh my god. Really? Your last card's like Remand? Or Condescend for... Ugh. Vomitous. Hmm. 
You doing okay over there? Yeah. It's weird because like June 26th is sold for 4600 June 4th is sold for 4500 These are 4.0s. But then like June 4th, this one's sold for 39 and it's 0.5 higher. Hmm. Very strange. That's how the bidding goes, I guess. Is it? Well, next time I think it's Ultimate this, and I don't think we're actually going to win through that. So I'm going to just go to the next game. Well... I do like the, um, so far I do like the Nihilist better. I think it gives us more, uh, a lot more pressure on the board. Yeah, it seems to be better. Yeah, it seems to be better. I have not seen that many elemental lists, but I also don't like, it doesn't feel like, uh, What about Skelementals? Hmm. Oh, are you referring to Blightning Skelementals? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's cool, bro. Bruh. I'm not your bruh, pal. Bruh, 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 bruh. Combining the degenerate combo of Tron with the miserable playstyle of blue control. Is that is that what we're talking about? This, this mono blue Tron deck? Hey man, how's Bortina doing? I don't want to talk about it. Why? What's the matter? You know why? I don't. I literally have no idea. <laughs> Good talk. We're out of focus now. Now we're back in focus. I would like to play first. I will keep this hand. A reasonable hand? Wow. Wow. I love the episode of the 46 Nuggets. What were the after effects, Mike? I had a really bad stomach ache the next day. Yeah? Did you get them did you get them them squirts? No. Did you didn't know mud butt for you? No, I didn't get that. Well, one but day. I did have a stomach hurdy. A stomach hurdy. Is Tarmogoyf better here? No. Maybe. So you're saying 45 nuggets is the limit. Is that what you're saying? You yeah, man. 45 nugs is the limb. One nug, two. Is the limb? <laughs> Yeah. Is that what the kids say? Yeah, man. All the kids are saying that. I think we're going to Alesha here just because if we actually get... Uh... My dad. Yeah, if we actually get your dad. My dad. Oh, Lord. My dad. So if we draw a Faithless Sitting, we can Faithless Sitting for a red, but then we need a white and a white. So we're going to have to have... This is the red. I guess we could, if we get like a, a stomping ground, they could, these could be the white. So I think we want a stomping ground here. I mean, yeah, I could have potentially eaten 50 nugs. I think I could get there, but I don't think I'd want to. I thought 50. No, it was never 50 because they come in increments of six. So it was eight six packs, which is 48, but then he gave two to Hunter, so it was 46. What's your favorite ACDC song? Dynamite. Or TNT, I think it's called. Tech wow, that was really quick of you. It's like you had that one at the ready. What's yours? I don't know. I want to say Back in Black just because of its connections to the Marvel movies, but... The BK near my place is 100 nugs for $10. How is that even possible? That's like 10 cents a nugget. Well, the Nugget is Fest is online. All the videos go up to go up to YouTube, so. Mike B D C. Wow. <laughs> I don't even understand. Well, I think BK has a deal where it's like you can get ten nugs for a dollar. So. 
I guess you just give them $10 and they give you 100 chicken nuggets. You're 100 chicken nuggets. Why would you ever want to consume 100 chicken nuggets? And BK chicken nuggets? Those are not good. What's wrong with BK chicken? I used to love BK chicken. The breading on Burger King chicken, like the, the original chicken sandwich and their nuggets used to be gas. Yeah, but it's a really low quality meat. So are you. Wow. Got him. Wow. He's such low quality meat, guys. Thoughts and prayers in the comments, please. Oh, wow. I saw another streamer do a nugget challenge, and he prepared and junk and couldn't touch Mike B on that. Ish. Wow. Nice. He prepared and junk. Eating 100 nuggets is a rite of passage. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know if I could get through 100, man. That's a lot of nugs. Let's see what this gets us. Hopefully a path to exile. We don't have those anymore. We don't? No, we took them out because oh, it's going to be lightning bolt. Oh, it's a wear tear? Would you like to cast wear or would you like to cast tear? The answer is yes. Oh, Michael. Mix cycle. The box of chicken nuggets came in is more organic than the actual chicken. Yikes. Yikes. It's going to be a yikes from me, dog. That is one entire yike from me. One yiker buck. Oh, what about Season Pyromancer in this deck? Oh, God, that's the ticket. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Don't do 100 nugs. Your health is very precious to me. Your health is very important to me. So death touch block this guy, lifelink block this guy. So that's very good. God, I'm getting real tired of these. These. But these. You got a wear tear. Then they just bounce it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Plus we have nothing to get back in the graveyard right now, which is really sad. We can get our blood crypt though. How about we do a hundred grape stream? <laughs> If you want blood, I could definitely crush on you. Got grapes. it. That'd be easy. Would it be? Yeah. Yeah. I love grapes. They're delicious. Grapes are nature's candy. They're one of the candies from nature. What's another one? Strawberries. What's another one? Mangoes. What's another one? Bananas. Go on. Basically, any fruit will do. Name the candies, Michael. Any fruit will do. Except for apples. Apples are not candy. Wow, really? No. Why? Because they're not that sweet. <laughs> apples aren't that they're, sweet, they're, guys. You heard no, it here first. I'm not saying they're not good. I'm just saying they're not really candy. Ducks like grapes. There's even a song about it. Oh, I know that song. There you go. You can either draw four or draw an Ugin. It's up to you. Mike is like Francis and Malcolm Noodle. Like Never seen that show. Mike is an apple flat earther. <laughs> 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 what does that mean? I don't know. Ask him. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that one. I want to make Mike a shirt that says apples aren't candy, and in the middle it's going to be a globe. And it's, <laughs> people are going to be like, what does this mean? And you're going to be like, eh, don't worry about it. No, I'm not doing 100 warheads, man. I don't need to ruin my time. Yes, Thank please you. do no, 100. No. How about 50 warheads? That's not that much better. Okay, that is better, but but no. Well, maybe, maybe I'd do it for... I'd have, to get, I'd have to get a nice little paycheck out of it. A paycheck? Michael, these people are going to be paying for your airheads. Is nothing good enough for you? No, that is definitely not good enough to destroy my tongue for like a week. I'm sorry, what did they... How did they... What did they... How did they... What if they had it? They had it. Who be who? That was very good.
Well, I'm pretty sure all of our creatures are... Don't have a counter spell, I guess. Got those bad boys. Whoa, that thing resolved? Oh, baby. Pop a shot of tequila before 100 warheads, you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll coat your stomach. It's actually, it's a really good strategy, man. That's really stupid and not true. <laughs> You're not true. Dang. Call the mic doctor, he'll fix your brain. Call the mic doctor. Well, I don't know how they deal with this guy. I mean, I'm sure they'll show me, but I don't know how they're going to do it off the top of my head. This only deals three. Goes to our face. This attacks for eight. Okay, replay that guy. You have your own YouTube? Am I a doctor now? I thought you got your doctorate. Did you not? Oh, dismember. That's how they do it. Yep, that's all I got. I'm not going to beat an active boogan, uh, active batter skull in a... Alright, so Seasoned Pyromancer is definitely the card, and I'm really actually disappointed in you guys for not having suggested this. I don't even know what this guy does. You know what Seasoned Pyromancer does? When enters battlefield, discard two cards and draw two cards. For each non-land discarded this way, you create a 1-1. One -one. Oh, that seems good. It's insane. Plus, you can exile it from your graveyard. This is a 4 of, for sure. A for sure of, if you will. For sure of. Plus, you can hit off Bloodbraid Elf. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, good gravy. Do we want to add a land, too? Yeah, we do, but now we're like... I think we can cut one of the paths. Sure. Cut a Tormenting Voice. Cut two Tormenting Voices because we're adding four discard spells. Thank you. Tanos, welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. God, two years does go fast. Where does the time go? Do we always destroy lands? I always really do. What's the other? What's the what's the land destroying card? There's the one that like exiles. Yeah, what's that? What's that one called? Don't remember. It's like four mana. Four mana, yeah. It's like the sewing. It's the new sewing salt that's easier to cast. Someone tell me. It's a red card. It's a, it's a devoid red card. Crumble. I think that's actually correct. Yeah. Add two of these dudes to the side bizzle. Take out one stony. Side bizzle. One surgical, I guess. I would have took out one ley line, but whatever. I like having four because you want to maximize like opening it. You know what I'm saying, man? I guess so. Yeah, hit that joint. Are there any other good, like, really good cards that we can get back? Like, that have uh, one or less toughness, one or less power, but are actually sick on board? Because I think Season Pyromancer is huge in here. Hire me as my intern. Hire me as my intern? So I'm hiring you as your intern, and two years will go by a lot quicker for a lot of people's bank account. I have no idea what that sentence even meant. I'm pretty sure you're drunk. The new deranged term? Oh, wow. That's actually not terrible. Oh, it's not It's not that guy. Uh, it is a hermit, though. Deep forest hermit. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if we just want like a couple of those in here for funsies, like a couple fun ofs. That seems good. That puts a bunch of bodies on the board. Oh, I like that. We did want another land. But... Cut one Tarmogoyf, I guess. Alright, let's try this. Let's see what this does. Call the mic doctor. <clears throat> yes.
the joke being all of a sudden everybody's subscription charge will be as if they had paid for the sub for two years what's the ju- there's that's not a joke that's literally just what would happen okay that's called that's called embezzlement it's not uh we are on turn one we played this okay okay i believe you jump in the line michael b michael b okay michael b yeah okay well i'd love a two drop here but it does not look like we have one you see that's fraud you're you're defrauding the american people and the international american people international american people hmm. yeah you don't know about them they're from international america come on give me a give me a beefy boy that's not a beefy boy dang it dang it i asked for a beefy boy. where's my beefy boys well we're just gonna play this guy anyway because he's very very good so how you doing you doing okay are you messing things up i'm fixing things is your life really this bad i can't believe it oh look now we have a master of cruelties typical that's so typical dude oh god they're gonna are they gonna just oh god they're just gonna oh god it's 11 40 p.m here so i think it's okay what wait what they're totally gonna stupid thing us they're totally gonna stupid thing us you heard me moochaluch moochaluch welcome to moochaluch the king of the moochals may i have your order <laughs> I'm playing Commander tomorrow, fool. All right, man. What do you want from me? A donut. <laughs> you ain't getting no donut, you little bitch. Dang. Got him. I was hoping for a donut. Yeah, I know you were. Get wrecked. I did get wrecked. You did, because you're donut eating ways. I'm going to make this guy unable to block this turn and blah. Mm-hmm. Make sure you ferry macabre before you violent outburst here. Get your three street raids out. Yep. Yeah, I think the bans are good. I don't know why the unbanned painter server. Cool. I don't think that's a good idea, but whatever. <sighs> these these modern decks are just not fun to play against. I don't remember when it happened, but it feels not fun. All right, so we're going to take out path, 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 bolt. Because, like, these are not going to do anything. Being able to path one of their creatures is just not going to help you. <laughs> oh, biscuits. Hello, Mike Biscuits. Won't you tell me your name? Hello, Mike Biscuits. Michael Biscuits. It's working. I will play first. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Excuse me. You've been excused. Keep. Get rid of one Larky boy. Um, do we just want to get a planes here? Probably not. The command zone guys are against the band, but they usually play casual. Like their their decks are usually pretty casual. Huh. Right. That's why they're only playing against. In a, like someone said, uh, well, Josh said I think they play in a commander bubble. Like so, they're probably just playing against casual decks and not broken decks. So they're not able to see the, the oh. damage that paradox oh, engine causes. That makes more sense. What are the bands in IMDb? What does that even yeah, mean? I don't know what that means. Dang it. Whatever. I 
we just happen to play against a deck that has main deck uh, fairy macabre against a deck where we're trying to reanimate two very specific creatures. Yeah, seems legit. Oh, fairy macabre, your two creatures, you see. <laughs> the dancer, have a good night, buddy. Do you not like my fairy macabre? No one likes your fairy macabre. Your dad does. My dad does? Yeah, he called me last night and he's like, Frank, I really like your fairy macabre. Thanks for taking good care of my boy. Oh, it's very specific. What What was specific about it? My dad. Your dad was specific about it. Well, that's what you just said, right? Well, yes, I know what IMDB is. IMBD, Internet Movie Bad of Days. Yes, that was good. Oh, it wasn't because you said IMBD the other day. Wait, what? You said IMBD. Did I? Jesus. I swear to God, I live your life more than you do. <laughs> How am I going to remember? Yeah, the, the other day you messed up the IMBD. Because thing. we literally joked about it on the stream. Like like last week or something? Can someone else Can, can someone else back me up here? I mean, I believe you. I just don't remember. We literally had a whole thing about it, did we not? You expect to remember a whole week ago, man? That's rough. I don't expect you to do anything, Michael. Except for die. Also got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Oh, yeah? You going to the butt doctor? Uh, just the regular doctor. <laughs> why did you... Why did you abbreviate... Why did you put a dash instead of an O for God there? What doctor? The butt doctor, you said? Nope. The regular kind. Call the butt doctor, Michael. Fix your pains. Mike doesn't remember his own memes. Sad. <laughs> it is sad. They live on through the people. Live on through the people. They live on through the day. Living on through the people through the day. What is the song you're saying? I don't, you know, I don't know. I just realized this is live and not on YouTube. I just assume I missed your stream. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Well, that's just comedy. We're having a good time. You let me put more guys in the graveyard? What's the verdict, my dude? How many fair macabres you got? I have two, actually. <laughs> I have seven macabres. It's a lot. In response. Come on, let's go. Final outburst. We all know you're going to do it. Oh, man. Well, I think Urza himself should just be banned. Urza? Urza's is broken. Yeah, all should just ban the Urza from the format. Oh, look, you did the exact thing I said you were going to do. Oh, to, wow. To the surprise of no one. Wow. That's crazy, dude. What a time to be alive. I mean, is this really that good for them? It's fine. That guy's got first strike and death touch, boy. I got death touch. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. Nothing. Call your dad. <gasps> Hermy. Wait, we're playing that card? Yeah, we put two in the deck because you can get it back with Vesper Lark and it's one power. Oh, nice. That makes sense. Yeah. Biscuits, you can get it back with Alesha. You make four one ones. They're two twos. Yeah, it would be really awkward if they just printed um, Modern Horizons and they end up having to ban either Altar of Dementia or Hogak. Like, that just doesn't make any sense that they would do that. Same thing with Urza, right? Like, you don't want to ban a card two weeks after it's legal. Like, Vigilante, thank you so much for the bits. Glad you're actually here live and not just watching YouTube. Uh, I'll block this with my... Oh, then they just cycle anything, I guess. So, alright, cool. Because this says, whenever you cycle or discard another card, put a one -one, negative 1-1 one -one counter on each creature we control. So they would uh, just cycle something 
This got to be a 3 3. This got to be a 0 3. Yeah, this card's just bonkers. Maybe they don't have any enough cyclers in hand, right? Huh? Am I right? Well, I guess we're going to attack here. All right, let us let us attack, huh? Why isn't this guy attacking? Am I missing something? Oh, it can only attack alone? Oh, God. That's bad. I attack alone. So we're just going to attack with this guy, because if they do have a cycler, I'd rather this guy be in, deal 7,000 damage instead. Although Deep Forest Tarmor, it's pretty bad against Arc Archfiend of Ifner on board. I'm getting close to an ally to make a current figurine to go with the Planeswalker Pendants I'm creating. I'm trying to click on this link and it's being really obnoxious right now. Okay, there we go. We did it. What's the uh, what's the what's the un the unfashioned piece of piece of metal there, Tonos? Is that going to be the Karn? Germanium? That's crazy. That's not real. That's not a real metal. You can't fool me. That's a plant. <laughs> Solid geranium meme. Michael Bees. God, this card is bonkers. I can't beat this card. It's still a 5 4 flyer. Buddy, I know what it is. Calm hmm. down, Jeb. Jeb? Mm -hmm. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm your father. And you will respect me, or else you won't be living in my house anymore. Wow. You live under my roof, you follow my rules, Michael. Hmm. Interesting. Is it interesting? What's your favorite metal? Gold. Why? Because it's shiny. Why is it shiny? I don't know why it's shiny. It just is. Just tell me why. Here comes the... You ready for the... I'll cycle. Do whatever you want, man. Nobody cares about your stupid cycling. Oh, look. I cycled. Let's get back another Colonian Hydra. Oh. My mom always made me a butter brat with germanium. <laughs> what is that? Why always period made period me? Why are those periods in that sense? Remember five years ago when you started playing against your opponent? <laughs> oh, God. I feel like it was yesterday. Wow, we just won this game? I bet guess because we have uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage on board. Plus they double the counters. So 14 plus 8. What is that? 22 damage on the board? It's a lot. I guess our opponent should really suck on those eggs, I think. God, maybe you think they will? Path is probably just better than Bolt here. Maybe. I don't know, man. I, I forgot about Archfiend of Ifner, which is definitely... Uh... Oh, it doubles twice. That's right, because they actually trigger. They both trigger. Right? Trigger. Whenever it attacks, double the number of counters. So there's two triggers. So one would go to the 7-7, seven, seven, would go to 14-14, fourteen, fourteen, then it would go to 28-28. And the 4-4 four would go to an 8-8, eight, eight, then it would go to a 16-16. So, what is that? 28, 38, 48, 44? 44 damage? Woo! That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty. Also, if you guys were gifted subs, definitely feel free to continue those in the upcoming month. I would really appreciate that, and it's a great way to support the channel. And definitely check out the subscriber Discord. Connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts, and you should get invited to that. It's a really pretty, it's a really, a really pretty sweet community is what I was going to say. Gargos, who's a Gargos? Michael, that's your dad. Hmm. By Gargos, you mean Golos? He's just making up names. You're really pretty sweet. You are. Got him. Got him. 
Margo. I'll keep this hand. I'll hey, teach man. what? The sauce over there. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about sauces. I see you trying to you're trying to cut out a sauce on me, huh? What does that mean? I don't even know what that means, man. I don't even know what you're saying, Moochel. Moochel the Mooch. Let's go, Faithless Loot. We're going to discard this Hermit and my dad. Um, It's probably just a land, but I really don't want to not hit a land. You could pitch one Blood Raid. Oh, pff, definitely don't want to do that. Do you ever play Blood bro Raid off before? Blood Raid, Blood Raid, Blood Raid, Blood What? Blood Raid, Blood Raid, Blood Raid, Blood What are you doing? Just impersonating your sentence. You're impersonating my sentence? Yeah. What? Huh? What? I hate you. Hmm? Hmm? What? I've got to cycle a creature. It's a horror of the broken lands. Big surprise. Was that a big surprise? No. Could have been anything. Could have even been a boat. You're a boat. Thank you. You're a real scumbag. Got him. A real scumboat. They used to call you old scumboat. Oh, we could have actually Vesper Larked here. Oh, that would have been sick. Too bad you didn't, I guess. I forget about the evoke cost, but yeah, getting a deep forest armor back here, nine power is pretty good. Yeah, that would have been real good. What a jerk. Well, I guess we're just going to do it next turn now. And the good thing is, like, you get Vesper Lark in the graveyard, so if they do... Uh... So if they do actually, like... Uh, you know the thing. This is also great because one removal spell doesn't get rid of it. Like, you still get four bodies. Here comes Fairy Macabre. Oh, no Fairy Macabre! Here comes Fairy Macabre. <laughs> Come on, man. Either... I th I've, just, just do it. <sighs> Never fails. Congratulations. You're good at this game. That's incredible. Sometimes it fails, I guess. It's a real tails never fails situation. Yeah, I don't know. It took them so long. I mean, I think they were trying to figure out if they're going to get rid of the Vesper Lark or the Faithless Looting as their second card. But, like, it, I don't know, it doesn't seem like you need to think about that much. Well, I'll discard Alicia and probably a Bloodbraid Elf. No, I'd rather discard a path. Because we're probably going to hit a land here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, Season Pyromancer has been gas. Yeah, it definitely seems like a great upgrade. Sorry I had to duck out for a manager in office, please. I'm pretty sure you're the manager. I'll discard my Cerodon. I'll discard my Street Wraith. I'll cycle my other Street Wraith. And then I will play Violet Outburst uh, to make sure that you don't have any. When we started this game back Thank in 19, 1694, powdered wigs were still a thing. They're still a thing now. Yep. Vigilante, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. I mean, what are the odds they have Violet Outburst in hand right now? 100%. 100%, right? If we play this, they've all an outburst, we lose it, along with whatever comes down. So I think we're just attacking for four here. But they're probably just going to do it post-combat anyway. Alpha Wolf, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, guys. You guys are great. I love you guys. Working is for chumps. Uh, sure, but I do have stuff to deliver that is kind of important so that other chumps don't get pwned. Also, 
Thanos working uh, has has greatly benefited my stream and the and the support I receive from him. So I feel like that's really a, a net positive here. Maybe we just play Vesper Lark because then if it dies, we can get back. Well, nothing right now, I guess. That's rough. It's closed. There's a song oh. on it, you stupid idiot. God, what a dummy, man. What an absolute wanted to give it a good whiff. dummy. Uh, we're just going to play Blood Braid Elf, I guess. Another season. It's another CZ boy, huh? All right. Well, violent outburst here. No? This is very strange. How many jobs does Michael have? Uh, just one. Like half of one, I think. 60% of one, I would say. One half, two of the other. Well, if you didn't, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you didn't have it last turn, maybe you don't have it this turn. I mean, if we could hit like a single relic of progenitus in any of these games, that'd be great. Tarmogoyf, sure. I mean, I guess we're dead here if they have it. I don't know why they didn't play it last turn if they have it. Or, oh God, they're going to go to one here? This is insanely bad. What is even happening here? Should we have just... God, now, if we just Blood Braid off last turn, it'd be a different game. I guess don't top deck. What? What? Ugh. Wow. We're killing it. This is amazing. Are you okay? I'll be fine. What happened? Michael, tell me what happened. Keep your back straight. Uh, lift with your legs. <laughs> I, th I think we're in good shape here. I like the way this looks. I would like a fourth timer going. Maybe for a lightning bolt. Maybe for one lightning bolt. Actually, that seems better. Are we we're one two right now, but we still ended up winning like a couple of our games, right? Let's move this like this, but then we'll also go. Is that better? I think that's better. Maybe. I thought it was fine before. Well, I was getting cut off. I don't like getting I don't like getting cut off, Michael. Let's find out. Let's see if I can configure the video I don't think we're zoomed in at all we could though okay well it is what it is I just feel like I'm too I'm too far to the yeah it's a little better I feel better about that okay Let's keep it going. Did Sarah leave? I don't even, I haven't heard. Sarah hasn't said anything in like a year. It's been like a whole year since Sarah said anything. Oh, we're cape. My God, my arch nemesis. God, he's so tricky. Trostani summoner? That's interesting. Also, Trostani herself is pretty good too. Oh, that's interesting. The thing is, I do like the five drops because you can cast them. Um, I, I think we can keep this because of Faithless Leading, perhaps. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I keep it. I keep it. I keep it. Uh, okay. Well, and we're on the draw, too. What could possibly go wrong? 
Yes, I do have blue eyes. What's the Exodia quote? Which, wait. The one that has Exodia in it. What does he say? Like, say yeah. goodbye to Exodia. Is that what it says? Yeah. Say goodbye to Exodia. My grandpa gave me those cards. Are they dredging? Life from low and stink for you? Why? Why are you like this? <laughs> it's modern, man. What do you expect? It's a bunch of degenerate stuff. Discarding two path to exiles and not hitting a land. It's brutal. Ten cards. Wow. That was correct. Say goodbye to Exodia was 100% the quote I was looking for. I'm really proud of you. Thanks. Hey. Peepaw. <laughs> yeah, now you're my grandpa. Is that what a peepaw is? Yeah. You didn't know about peepaw? A paw filled with... It's peepaw. Huh. I guess I'm just not familiar with peepaw, you know? So, I mean, Bridge from Low is pretty important for Dredge. I guess it's not banned yet. It's not banned until tomorrow, so... Theoretically, there's still... How does still... Dredge function without Bridge? It, um... Prized amalgams and blood ghasts and things. Narcomoebas. Narky boys. Nokomiba. Baby dragon plus time wizard? What is even happening right now? What are you guys saying? Oh, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh combo. Wow. How do you know that? Why do you know that? Because I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. What? What? Friendship. Friendship. That's for Mortal Kombat. For Mortal Kombat? No, man. What's that? It's a, it's a, it was a game uh, It came out in the arcade. It was done by Midway. Uh, it came out like 96, maybe, I want to say. I like how we're going through this joke. Like, I actually don't know what Mortal Kombat Mortal is. Mortal Kombat was released 92. Ooh. Wow, that's way older than I thought. I was 10 October years old 8th. when Mortal Kombat came out. I was one year old. That's insane. No, I wasn't even, actually. <sighs> Are there... I don't see any bridge from blows, though. So, like... Maybe he's not putting bridge in here? Maybe he's trying it out without bridge to see if it'll work. I like that. I'm okay with it. I really wish I had anger of the gods in the sideboard. <laughs> Creep. Remember creepy crawlers? Creepy crawlers? No. You remember creepy crawlers? It was like an easy bake oven, but for dudes. Oh wait, no. It was I, the I boy version talking, yeah, where yeah. you'd like make make like. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. You make goo monsters? Yeah, and then you heat them up. Heat up your goo monsters. Say goodbye to Exodia, Michael. That sure is a lot of blood gas. But what are you going to do about it, you know? Die, I guess. I don't think they played anything that actually cost mana this game. <laughs> no, man, they played Cathartic Green. Oh. You're right. I oh, my bad. I think we're just dead here. Like, we can play this and block here. We take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, not, not good. Do you remember the Mortal Kombat song from the movie? Do, 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 do. Fight! Kano! Kung Lao! Liu Kang! Johnny Cage! Uh, Leyline doesn't do anything. Lightning Molson Pass. Or that movie was, like, bad, but in a good way. It was, like, so cheesy it kind of worked. It's kind of like you, my dude. Oh, not wear tear. Uh, Are you calling me a cheeser? Surgical. Yeah. A hungry Howie, extra three cheeser. Cosme, is that the actual order that they're in in the uh, in the song? Because that'd be pretty impressive if it is. Ugh. Um, I'm gonna keep all these hands based on faithless looting. And also Mom's spaghetti. Wow. Two very easy creatures to discard. I also said Kung Lao, which is way before Mortal Kombat's time. 
He wasn't around till Mortal Kombat. Two, 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 two. I still think Mortal Kombat three is the best one ever made. Oh, Mortal Kombat three is the best one. It had the best characters. It had the best had fighting really system. All the characters. Yeah, but I looked it up. Okay. <laughs> what is it like in New York City? Cosme, tell us about New York City. Tell us about a young a young Cosme's dream of living in New York City and then making it happen. Huh. Oh, yeah, but I looked it up. Cheater. We can also play surgical extraction and not have to take damage. Say what? What? Did we just Vesper Lark here and get back Master of Cruelties? That seems good. That seems pretty hard to deal with, right? Is that better than a Colonian Hydra? No, it's got to be Master, right? There's a many, many people, and they're milling all around. <laughs> it's a heck of a town! Can they deal with my Master of Cruelties? Oh, they're going to conflagrate for 17,000. Oh. Interesting. Okie dokie. I thought they were going to conflagrate, discard their hand, and kill Master of Cruelties. Well, now I'm, now I'm feeling, now I'm feeling jazzed up. Yeah, you getting jazzed up with your jazz, jazz cigarette? Boy, you know it. What if we just draw lightning bolts here, and then we just kill them because they're at one now? Master of Cruelties, are you going to win this game? Master of Cruelties is pulling your strings. We did not. But, it's okay. But. Oh, I actually want a surgical conflagrate now. No, I don't. Maybe I do. For what? Because I want them to kill our Master of Cruelties. But he can never win the game by himself. Yeah, he can. When he attacks, a player that isn't blocked, that player's life total becomes one. Oh, then they sign no combat damage. Dang it, you're right. So, it's fine if he kills it. I guess we'll chat. I guess he's done his job. Dang it. Whatever, man. Fight. The surgical those they don't they can't block so i'm not like too concerned with them i'm more concerned with like prize amalgams or whatever kim didn't play tap though yeah but there's still a threat that i do not enjoy that's a threat that i do not enjoy i think we just win here right because we have blood braid health mm-hmm Let's get a uh, green and a white. And then we'll blood all the braids. And then we're going to hit lightning bolt and it's just going to be oh yeah, that's a good that's a good hit. Oh, dang it, I accidentally clicked reveal hand, so oh, biscuits. Ho oh, biscuits. Ho biscuits. <laughs> they call me old ho biscuits. I think I can best explain with a song and it's the Mortal Kombat theme song that he linked which also has 567,000 upvotes that's a lot do me a favor mm -hmm. say goodbye to Exodia say goodbye to Exodia you gonna crack that boy open see this is a one land hand that I don't want to keep even though we have two faithless suitings because no red mana God, he's so smart. This one is a good one, though. Keep it. Mm, get rid of Arid Mesa. Done. I 
Rush show, a rush show. I have the I have the Bette Midler song from Seinfeld stuck in my head. Oh, they did not do anything. Well, that is fascinating. I will loot faithlessly. Colonian Hydra and Master of Cruelties. This is great because you can turn to Vesper Lark and just get back something broken. I'm a big fan of that. Bologna Hydra. My favorite. Let's get a Temple G. Cast you with Evoke. Now which one do we get? I think it's still Master. It puts him to one, right? And then Bloodbraid Elf can finish the deed. Or Goyf. Are we going to be 2-2? Two -two? Right, but Bloodbraid Elf has haste. But I guess we can play Goyf next turn. Or Alesha. Alesha's probably just better, right? Because then it gets Colonian Hydra back, so. Stupid grass didn't cut itself, so I had to go do. Two and a half acres. Uh, zero turn, though. And next three. Zero turn? What does that mean? You know what? Them gaining three life doesn't do anything because... We got the Master of Cooties. More like Master of Cooties, am I master, right? Master, Master, Master. Good one. You okay? I think so. Doubt it. Is it Tarmogoyf or is it Lesha? They kind of accomplish the same thing. What? They do the same thing. No, because Tarmogoyf, like, so they if they hit like one creeping, they go to four. One creeping chill, they go to four life, so then they don't do the same thing. Alesha only deals three. Yep, see, there's a creeping chill. So now Tarmogoyf is lethal. And neither prized amalgam nor blood gas can block. I also didn't want to take an extra two points from the Alesha, so. This is a six seven? That's friggin' huge. Oh my goal. Lived in a garbage can for most of his life. It's true. You'll never open volume. It's already opened. Don't. How dare you doubt my powers? Well, now it's. Look at this guy. Look at this little idiot. Idiot. Hard cast and stink weed imps. That's, do what you gotta do. that's how you know they're desperate. Come on, give me a lance like a bloodbraid elf. Ooh. Ooh. It's got a got a very garlicky smell too. Let's see what the ingredients say. First ingredients: green tomato, water, onions, serrano peppers, roasted tomatillo, garlic, apple cider vinegar, green habanero, sugar, cilantro, salt, basil, organic white distilled vinegar, organic mustard seed, lime juice concentrate, cultured dextrose, spices, organic spices, natural lime flavor, and turmeric. That might be the onion powder I'm smelling. Oh, maybe it's the onion. Just wait until your mother finds out about this. Why can't you be more like your brother Joey? Joey's dead, that's it smells why. smells really good. Because Joey's dead, that's why. Oh, for crying out loud. Womp, womp, womp. That is a womp, womp, womp. This is a trade we want to make. They already have another Stinkweed Imp, so I'm not super concerned with that. I think we're just playing Alesha now. And then next turn we can Blood Braid, which should put them to dead. Might as well, might as well put them to one. And if they block, they block. If they block, they block. It is Green Aardvark. Wow, how did you know that? Way to go. Oh, it's well, it's secret aardvark. It's a secret aardvark green, uh, cerab cer green hot sauce. Yes. Narco amoeba. All we want is one lightning bolt. That's all we want. That's why you want tacos to use your new sauce. Shut up. <laughs> you don't know me. Shut up. Should it? Wow, three blockers? What is even happening? Oh, God. Three amalgam boys. Oh, where were you last turn? Jeez. 
We still win, right? How? We play Blood Rail and attack. We have three blockers. We have four attackers. This guy can only attack alone. Oh, dang it. Oh, you knew about the, the combat damage being replaced? But no, you didn't I knew know about the other part, too. I just forgot. Lightning Bolt. Tormenting Voice. And Discard Glory. Okay. I mean, they all have to block. Oh, that's what we should have done. We didn't have four attackers. Oh, my God. I totally forgot about this. Oh God! We could have got Colonial Hydra back and then oh, just yeah. killed them. Wow! I'm wow! I'm dumb. Oh no! We couldn't have. We had Bloodbraid Elf. Never mind. That would have been three. But this guy has Trample, right? So they would have had to put two blockers. Yeah, it still would have been lethal. Like this, this, and this guy with Trample would have been would have been would have done it. Yep, that would have been good. That would have been real spicy. Nope, don't have it. Well, at least you have first strike, so that's good. And then Favorite we can hot least... sauce, I get it at Beth's all the time. Oh, yeah, we conflagrate, though. That's going to get rid of our blocker. Oh, I think we're just dead here. This is really bad. <sighs> Boy. Wow. Yeah, we could have just won this game. This would have been a, this would have been two two. We are essentially two two if you make the correct plays all the time. So. Yep. Oh, and again, we could have actually gotten rid of the conflict raid. So. Yeah, but well, then we go to seven. Right, but then we block one and we take six. So it's not really. Wow. Misplayed two times. Did you make a modern list of that Legacy Golos deck? Yes, it actually went up today on YouTube. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Oh, five to the face. Yeah, that also works. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we just threw this game away twice. That's stupid. That's really dumb. All right. Should have been 2 2, but. All right, let's try this one more time. Yeah, I think this is fine. It's not exciting, but. Swamp, make me discard. Yep. Runa Cape, good games. I uh, yeah, I misplayed twice there in the last turn, so I probably I I'm pretty sure I just win the game if I get back Colonial Hydra instead of playing Bloodbraid Elf, but interesting. Uh, let's go stomping ground. Okay. Remember that time we were like, hey, hope we get more lands. Yeah, I wondered about that first turn. <laughs> Don't worry. I mean, like, I still lost. So <laughs> I think, uh... Inquisition seems good. Either way. Yep, that got done. Uh Sacred Foundry seems fine. No. Wow. Unbelievable. Jesus. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands out of twenty one lands. Yep. And of course you have that, so now I have four lands to uh win the game with.
Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Amazing. Actually amazing. Fifty percent of the lands in the deck in our in our, in our top thirteen cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands out of thirteen cards. Fucking amazing. All right. So I guess you're just playing uh, black, green, good stuff. So just submit like this. Ah, oh, boy. Sometimes you lose to uh, misplays where you just don't just ignore lethal on the board, and then sometimes you draw ten lands and thirteen cards. You know, in a deck that's only playing twenty-one lands. Twenty-one lands, yeah, literally, literally half the lands in our deck. Good times. I will play first. Yes. Snap. Snapples McKeeples was the name of my uh, friend in middle school. Was it? No. I'll Inquisition of Kozilek you and take your seasoned pyromancer. Blah. Blah. <laughs> I almost want uh, another relic of progenitus in the graveyard in the sideboard. I mean, that would have been great against the dredge match and the living end match. Seems good. Uh, boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. As much as I want a tormenting voice, I really just don't want to have dark confidant on the board, so. Wait, you said did I make a modern list of that Legacy Golos deck? Uh, that's not really possible, right? Because you don't get any of the cards. Like, you don't get... Um, like, the entire strategy is based on Dark Depths and Solemnity and... Uh, sure. Are those legal and modern? Dark Depths? No, Dark Depths is banned. Oh. Otherwise, people have been playing Dark Depths. I wish it was Power 2 or less, but I understand why it's not. Because then it would just be a much better reveler. Oh, well, if we could discard that, it'd be great, but would it be much better? You get one you get one creature back instead of two? I think so. Hmm. The cheaper CMC and the evoke being cheaper is really relevant. They also don't have like enlightened tutor in, in modern, so it's Oh, also Ancient Tomb and City of Traders and Mox Diamond. Like, most of the key components of the deck are not available in in Modern. Guess I'll take two against Mono Fulminator Mage dot deck here. Yep. <laughs> Who's having a good time? Sure. I'll get back a full bit here, mage, because fuck your beta base, right? Okay. Draw 10 lands the first game. Literally get Fulminator locked out of this game. So, always a pleasure, Magic Online. Always a pleasure. Nope, not doing that. Yeah, no lands. All right, so they're just going to kill the Temple Garden, presumably, and then we're not going to be able to draw a white source at any given time. That's my guess. That is my guess. Let's see. Let's see if it plays. Let's see if it plays out. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Are those your seeing glasses? Mm -hmm. 
Oh god. Jesus. No. Oh look, they uh, feel the ruined me. That's interesting because now we have a uh, planes. Cool. Well, now any land gets us uh, Vesper Lark, but cool. Actually, maybe I just want to play Tarmogoyf here. You can see that. Uh, I got four one ones actually. Let's four one one it. Because I'm, I'm assuming they're going to uh, plus Liana on the on the leader here. Yep. <laughs> so gonna, oh Jesus! Give me a fucking break, dude! Come on! Oh, oh amazing! That. Absolutely incredible. <sighs> Welp, and it has a death touch. Good times. I mean, I think a star hand is still very good. This is a real pain in the ass again. <laughs> oh. Just have the perfect answer to all this is just fantastic. Triple Fulminator Mage, Inquisition, Abrupt Decay, and a Liliana and a Plague Engineer. It's just like I don't hard to hard to beat that. Wow, another another field of ruin, huh? Alright. Let me guess, another Fulminator Mage? Yeah, why not? Sure. Totally, totally normal game of magic here, guys. Totally normal game of magic. <laughs> they literally have every answer. Oh, and everything this is do. incredible, dude. Absolutely just incredible. Yep. And we can only get back Deep Forest Tournament, which is absolutely terrible with both of these cards on the board. I guess we can actually discard Master. <laughs> Black Green Ponzo with a, like, a, a funny face, and it's like, yeah. It's, yeah, it's good times. One, two, three, four. I mean, I'm trying to have a good time. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to be more lighthearted about having six of my lands destroyed and every single permanent of placed on the battlefield destroyed. But I guess it's not as fun for me as it is for them. So it's just a difference of opinions, I suppose. <laughs> also, Liliana goes with two, so we just have to sacrifice this anyway. So, yeah. Yep, no more basic lands, so fucking cool. Anyway, that's about it. This deck was... I, I think this deck is still pretty sweet, actually. Uh, I think if we didn't draw 13 lands in game one and then have seven of our lands destroyed in game two, we'd probably have a better time. But, uh, you know, that's... Somehow that's... Sometimes that's what happens. Um, I think the, the Naya version is definitely better than the Esper version. Or not the Esper, the Jeskai version. Um, because Red has Seasoned Pyromancer. You're basically trading Bizarre Trader for Seasoned Pyromancer. Um, which is a significantly better discard outlet at three. It's not a three, four flyer, but you only have to discard two cards. If you have no cards in hand and you top deck this guy, you're just drawing two. And you also get one ones when you discard your big creatures. I do like adding two deep forest hermits to go wide along with master of cruelties and colonial hydra. I think these are good, good choices to get back with Vesper Lark and, uh, Alesha. And, um, I think Bloodbraid Elf is off. I mean, Tarmogoyf is obviously Tarmogoyf. Like, it's just going to win you games. And if you hit Bloodbraid Elf and a Tarmogoyf, it's still very good. I wish it had more synergy with, like, these two guys. But I think it's also fine. I would also be considered... I would also consider playing, like, a Tristani. Which is pretty interesting. Other creatures you control. Like, this is another card you can get back with both Vesper Lark and with uh, Alesha. Mm -hmm. 
So you're getting five power off of this. You're getting nine power off of this. But the, the Hermit itself is easy to deal with, which leaves you with four power. Tristani, not as easy to deal with. And like at the beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own, which is not terribly... Uh, it's not terribly... What's the word I'm looking for here? Irrelevant. Irrelevant, right. Thank you. Um, also, Tristani Summoner, someone mentioned, which is pretty sweet. It makes a 1-1, one, one, a 2-2, two, two, a 3-3, three, three, and a 4-4. Four, four. The problem is you're never going to be able to naturally cast this, whereas like all the 5 drops you can eventually cast in the deck. Uh, Tristani Celestian Swish is 2-5. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, gain that much life. Yeah, that's not as good. So I think I think there is a, a case that can be made for Tristani Discordant or Tristani Summoner. Um, I would also probably cut one or more of the Ley Lines, add Relic of Progenitus, and I think this is probably the list I'd go with. I think this this I think this looks a lot sweeter than the Jeskai version. Tormenting Voice is basically just as good as um, Charter Course. Like you're basically always going to want to discard with the card, so you're basically drawing two, discarding one. Tormenting Voice makes you do it in the other order. You have to discard first, but it's a small compromise um, when you're when you're switching to uh, green instead of blue. Um, that's pretty much all we lost, right? We lost two Snapcasters, but they were replaced by Tarmogoyfs, which I think is just fine. So I, I think the, the the green version of the deck, the Naya version, is is definitely better than the, the blue version. And um, I think there is still more room for improvement, but I think I like the options here. I think Seasoned Pyromancer was a great choice. I think Deep Forest Termo was a really sweet choice. Also could be a Tristani. The lifelink could be relevant. The 1-4 body could be relevant. Um, Renin 6 I do think is an option especially with our limited mana base like if we go to Faithless Leading it's a lot easier to discard a land on turn 1 if you have a Renin 6 to get the land back and plus you're going to be discarding a lot of things anyway and it, it just makes it a lot easier to discard a land if you need to so I can actually see playing some number of Renin 6 probably up to 2 but they are slightly cost prohibitive on Magic Online but either way, Sarah, thank you so much for the opportunity to play this. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm glad we finally decided on a deck. Sarah usually submits like five decks. And she's like, which is which what, do you, what do you, which one do you like? And I'm like, well, it's up to you. But this deck does look sweet. So thank you for letting me try it out. Hopefully you got some good ideas from this. Um, even if you're playing the Jeskai version, I, th I still think Seasoned Pyromancer is better than, than Bizarre Mage. Just because, I mean, even though Bizarre Mage flies and is a 3-4 instead of a 2-2, two -two, like the other attributes that come along with Seasoned Pyromancer are just very, very good. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to have your own decks looked at by me, definitely let me know. You can find how to get in touch with me in the YouTube description or in my Twitch profile. Um, and it's a great way to support the stream. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, I'll see you later.